Maybe going inside a human's house wasn't such a good idea. I want to eat. I want food. Food is what you'll get, hamster. Enough food to fill a bear cave, hopefully. OK, everyone, pay attention. Oh, look at the light. We need to get through the next three yards. Everyone knows your roles, right? Heather and I run along the front of the houses and come in through the basement window. At the first sign of trouble, we... We resist the urge to faint so we can warn everyone, right? Oh. Right. Lou, Penny, you'll meet us at the house? Just me. Penny will stay home with the little ones. Oh, jeepers. I don't want you by yourself in a human house there. But we do this together. Hamilton? Where to go, huh? You and Stella meet us at the hole in the fence in the third yard, right? Right. Third yard, yep. Three comes after six, right? <laughs> Stella? Help Hammy count to three. Got it. And Vern and I will navigate the three yards full of the most devious human traps imaginable, sticking to the shadows like creatures of the night, sneaking past incredible dangers, and... Sometime before the sun comes up would be good. Right. Everyone ready? Good luck, everyone, and be careful! Wow. I have to say, this doesn't look so bad. Great. Let's move out. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why, breathe? That too, but I meant stepping into the light. Looks like some kind of amphibian. Wouldn't a turtle be less cliche? Let's find ourselves a frog then. How hot could it be? You don't want a piece of me, Tweety. Seriously. You wouldn't want to see my friend here bluster and fume, would you? Look, people, I don't make the rules. You want into the next yard, you need my help. Sorry, guys. City ordinance. We're all slaves to bureaucracy. That's what separates us from the humans. Uh, yeah. Very thought-provoking. Thank you. What do we have to do to get past? I got the key for the gate hidden in one of those objects. Break them until you find it. Oh, we get to break stuff? Why didn't you say so? 